This video is all about holiday style, over 40, over 50. We're gonna be covering outfit formulas to get you looking stylish and beautiful and in the Christmas spirit, some items to try and some items to avoid this holiday season, and some of my favorite holiday picks from Dillard's. Hi, this is Netta. Welcome to my channel. You know my whole goal for this channel is to help you look and feel beautiful every single day. Today we're going to talk about holiday style because th this video was inspired by a recent trip to TJ Maxx that I featured on my Instagram where I saw some crazy stuff. I saw some tinsel bedecked sweaters and some weird faux layers and some chintzy accessories and I was like, they're talking to me. They're talking to me. Like these clothes are aimed at women over a certain age. And that age could be 40, could be 50, could be 60. I don't know. But they're definitely not aiming them at the 20, 25 year olds out there. They're aiming them at us. And so I was like, uh-uh. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't try to sell us yucky stuff. Like don't try to sell us frumpy clothes that are not flattering, that are not going to work for our actual lives that are going to make us look dated and out of touch and old and bad and frumpy and all the things. And, and that's just, it, it's just so frustrating to me because I see a lot of these styles. I hear about a lot of these styles from you. And I know that these are styles, again, that are marketed at women over 40, over 50. They think, oh, you know, they, they'll buy the fun and festive stuff. And now those words have become highly suspicious to me. And they are, I'm going to try really hard not to use the words fun and festive in this video because those should be code words when you're on a website and it says festive on a top or on a sweater or on a dress or whatever, you need to like run away from that top. Or like the word festive is code word for frumpy on these sites that are marketed at women over a certain age. If you see the word festive, it means they put a lot of stuff on it and it's not cute. And so we just have to be uh, like selective about what we choose to wear and what really represents us and our personal style. And what's going to make us feel beautiful and festive this holiday season? You can be festive without looking like a Christmas ornament or a Christmas tree, right? So I know, a disclaimer here, I know that there are events where you're going to want to go all out and be t funny, tacky, cute, like a Christmas, a, a tacky Christmas sweater party or a tacky Christmas outfit party. That's different. That's the exception. Obviously, that's more of a costume type item. I'm talking about regular clothes for regular events, Christmas parties and cocktails and, and church and gift exchanges and cookie exchange, whatever, all the fun stuff you've got going on this holiday season. I'm going to give you ideas on ways to dress for those events where you're going to look beautiful. You're still going to look fun. You're still going to look like you're in the Christmas or holiday spirit, but you're not going to look like a Christmas tree. Okay, this is, this should be t subtitled How Not to Wear Tinsel at Christmas because there's a lot of tinsel on clothes out there and I just don't get it. Okay, let's look at a Christmas sweater. Good example of a Christmas sweater, bad example of a Christmas sweater. Again, the bad example, great for an ugly Christmas sweater party. Here are a couple of bad examples. Um, this, this tinsel argyle pattern sweater, just a big, big fat no, unless you're going to a special themed party. No, 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 no. Um, but let's, let's look at what an alternative to this is. Here's another, okay, here's another no. Look at this one with the reindeer thing going. It's just, just, it's not as, obviously not as bad or as over the top as the tinsel sweater, but it's just not, it's dated and it's really mature looking and it's just, it's not, it's not the best option. These other two sweaters, so much more elegant, so much more modern, so much cooler. This Gap uh, modern Fair Isle sweater, it's very affordable and really a cool kind of relaxed take on the Fair Isle trend, which is, um, or Fair Isle style, which is very classic, but also trendy. Um, so I love that. So it's kind of a modern Fair Isle. And then this this red sweater with the words Mar or the word Mary on the front and white, like perfection. That's to me the perfect Christmas sweater. It's easy to pair with your regular clothes. It's still very festive and fun. I did use those words. Still, you know, it's still very Christmassy, but it doesn't look like you're, you're trying to pass as Christmas decor, right? Okay, let's look at the Christmas dress. Now you can go two different 
ways with a Christmas dress. You can go modern or you can go classic. Now, the modern Christmas dress, this is going to look different for everybody. You can have just something very simple and um, red and flowy like this. This is a perfect Florida or Texas or Arizona kind of dress where it's not so hot that you, um, you know, you want to wear something really cozy, but I just love this solid red. I love this modern but pla with plaid, so it's got that nod to the Christmas tradition of a Christmas plaid, but it's a modern style from Hill House Home. This is their nap dress in this gorgeous plaid. So this would be a fun, more modern take on the plaid dress for Christmas. And then this Frances Valentine, I think it's an offshoot of Kate Spade. Frances Valentine dress, um, it's just a beautiful, bold floral that is definitely a modern take on a Christmas dress. Now, if you want to go a little bit more classic, I've got a couple of great options for you here. This one from J. Crew is super affordable from J. Crew Factory. It's just a plaid dress. It's under $50. It's just a great dress that you'll have in your closet for years to come and you can break out every Christmas, right? Um, this um, more casual kind of flannel dress from Keel James Patrick. It's a very preppy uh, lifestyle site. Just great, great stuff there. Love that dress. I think that's a great option. Another site I love for holiday clothes is Ivy City Co. And this uh, plaid dress in kind of a, a cool color palette. So it kind of combines modern and classic. So I know there's a lot of plaid. I love plaid for Christmas. There are a lot of options and on all of these sites that are not plaid, but um, I, 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 I do. I love plaid for Christmas and it can be classic. It can be modern. I can check all the boxes. Now let's talk about what not to wear as a Christmas dress this holiday season. Okay, this first dress is just a simple Nine West floral sheath with some ruching. This dress is not awful. It's just, it's a dress that everybody had like five to 10 years ago. It's just very, it's a little bit dated. It's a little bit, oh, humdrum. It's a little bit less than interesting and exciting and modern. It's just you're not really seeing that dress style right now. So I would pass on that. Now a dress that's obviously marketed to women of a certain age is this dress with this like ruffle, asymmetric ruffle across the front that's artfully designed to disguise your belly and then one glittery strap. No, this is really out of style, really out of style. And the dress might as well just have the words I'm over 50 or I'm old on the front of it. Like that's what that dress says to me. That is not okay. There are a lot of ways that we can hide our stomach. I always need to hide my stomach. There are a lot of ways that we can minimize our stomach without wearing a dress that is really out of style. Okay, let's talk about a Christmas tea. You can see the same same uh, pitfalls with a Christmas tea that you do with a Christmas sweater. And so you want to be selective. I like a really simple modern tea with just a nod to holiday spirit on it, like this one from J. Crew. Um, it's just that that vintage truck that motif that we've been seeing that's been trending the last couple of years. Very simple, very cute. Um, and then there's this Christmas black Christmas tree with like a like a tree on it. Um, that's not cute. That's like the opposite of cute. So uh, again, keep it subtle, keep it modern, keep it fresh, and you can't go wrong. Let's talk about a party top. Now, sometimes you just want that top that you can put on and go, you know, meet friends after work or, go, you know, go to a wine tasting or, you know, what, whatever, whatever, like semi-casual but fun event that you're going to go to this holiday season. So there are good party tops and there are bad party tops. Now, I was really surprised and impressed by Chico's selection of holiday items this season. They have great accessories and they have this beautiful plaid sequined party top. I have a hard time with sequins because of my hair. I can usually just wear them on the bottom half, but this is just the perfect party top. I think it's beautiful and stylish and you could pair it with, you know, your black work pants or with jeans or whatever and black jeans would be great and just meet friends out. Like, I just think it's a great little festive top. It's a party and a top. Um, um, this other top, not so much. So it's full layered, which already is a red flag for me 99.9% .9 of the time. And then it's got this weird decor here. It's just not modern. It's not cute. Again, it looks like a, an a mature top. And that's kind of the theme here. So if you can compare those two items side by side, you can see that one looks modern, one looks dated and more mature. And not mature in a sophisticated way, but mature in a frumpy way. Okay, let's talk about accessories because there's so many fun and sketchy <laughs> ways to accessorize your holiday outfit. So sometimes you just want to throw on one piece that says Christmas to you. And to me, that one piece is going to be a pair of shoes. I love these shoes from Draper James. They are um, a plaid Mary Jane pump. Uh, 
like to me that's just perfection I mean, if you have something solid and neutral or solid and colorful in your wardrobe and you just want to add a touch of christmas spirit these shoes will do it now you know i i kind of shy away from having you look like an ornament or a christmas tree but these ornament earrings are actually pretty subtle they're neutral and metallic they're from crown and ivy it's a bells brand and i thought they were fun if you just wanted to add just a little touch of something holiday to your outfit um i told you that uh, chico's has really good holiday accessories this fringed metallic bag is perfection it's not just a holiday bag it's an, a year-round evening bag 79 dollars. it's a great price it's beautiful. It's got that nod to the fringe trend, but fringe never really goes out of style. Um, it's just gorgeous. So I absolutely love that bag. It's a great festive bag. Draper James also makes these adorable dark green magnolia earrings. I think they are lovely. They're so, so cute and just kind of a nod to Southern Christmas. I love it. Okay, what not to do when it comes to accessories. Okay, these shoes are crazy shoes. Both of these, this, this weird pair of, I don't know, kind of vintage shaped pumps with every single Christmas decoration on them at one time. And then these like Mrs. Claus inspired booties. Again, if you're going to an ugly Christmas sweater party and you want to go all out, then you might want to, to, to wear these just to that. These are costume pieces. My concern is that I've seen people out and about wearing some of these things for real. And if you're going to wear these to like a Christmas sweater party or whatever, my suggestion is don't even stop at Walgreens to pick up a car. Just go straight to the party because these are really, really weird shoes. I don't, I don't understand why those are in stores. I just don't get it. Um, now something that's a little more subtle and a trap that 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 is easier to fall into because some people are going to be like oh my gosh i would never wear those shoes who would wear those shoes well maybe you would wear these earrings and i just think they're a little chintzy and a little kind of goofy and just not sophisticated right same with this bag it comes in a lot of different patterns like not just that's not a cute christmas bag like not a cute bag with this this motif on it i i don't i don't get why they do i just don't get why those things are in stores so I'm going to give you a couple of outfit formulas for different places you're going to go this, this season. And then I'm going to show you some of my favorite holiday picks from Dillard's. Okay, first, let's start with the outfit formulas. Now, this first one is casual. You just, you just maybe you're just cuddling up with friends. You're having a cookie exchange. Maybe you're having some people over. You want it to be really comfortable, really casual. Maybe you're going to, to look at Christmas lights, whatever. All the fun things that we get to do at Christmas time. Um, this is a perfect outfit for that. So it's that J. Crew T, um, a pair of wide leg leather pants. Of course, you can do you know, whatever faux leather pants you already have, or you can do jeans, or you can do black pants. This is just an inspiration um, for all of these outfit formulas. Plug in items you actually have in your own wardrobe. You don't have to go buy all of these items unless Unless you want to so you've got the Christmas tea you have the the neutral pants then you've got a fun colored jacket this was featured in a previous video of mine it's a beautiful Kelly green jacket I think it's so much fun and you know because it's me I have to add a touch of animal print and a touch of metallic so I added a metallic shoe and a leopard bag and it's just kind of a fun funky and very in the Christmas spirit casual outfit okay for a classic look you're gonna start with a classic Christmas dress. You're gonna start with whatever that Christmas dress is for you. You're gonna pair it with a pair of velvet shoes that it can be velvet slides like these from Chico's, which I love, or it can be a pair of velvet pumps or velvet flats. But I just think the combination of a Christmas plaid and velvet is so classic and so beautiful. Um, I added these little drop earrings from Draper James that I showed and then just a simple metallic bag. So uh, a simple, classic, elegant, timeless uh, Christmas look that you're not going to cringe at when you see in a few years. All of these outfit formulas and everything that I showed here, of course, is going to be in the blog post and the catalog with all of these items in it is going to be in the description box below this video, as always, right? Okay, now you want to go glam for the holidays. Maybe you've got a, 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 a fancy party you want to go to, or maybe you guys just really love to dress up for Christmas, for Christmas Eve service or midnight mass or whatever. Um... I, I think this is beautiful. So I would start with a velvet dress because velvet, again, in Christmas, they just go together. And this one is from Express. It's very affordable, but also 
just beautiful wine velvet. I kind of now have a law that I have to have wine velvet in my wardrobe at all times. I just love wine and velvet together. Um, I added a pair of beautiful metallic pumps. These are the over the top fun metallic uh, Mary Janes that I featured in an earlier video, but it can be any metallic shoe of your choice. Um, that fun bag from Chico's with the fringe and these beautiful earrings from Chico's that pick up on the colors and the bag. I think this is glamorous and festive and fun. Look, I use the words festive and fun, but it applies in this case. I just love this glamorous holiday look. And it's easy to pull off with things in your own wardrobe. Okay, you want a cozy holiday look? Maybe you're you're going to, what, what, what cozy things do we do? Bake cookies, or like I said, go see Christmas lights, or maybe you're gonna do like a Polar Express ride like we do with our kids. Um, so I started with this Fair Isle sweater from Gap, which I love, added a pair of jeans, and then of course, because it's me, I had to add some plaid shoes, the Draper James shoes, but you can do any, obviously any shoe, but it's a cozy modern sweater and jeans and maybe a fun pair of shoes. That's the outfit formula for just cozy vibes this holiday season. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some of my favorite holiday looks from Dillard's. Okay, the first holiday look from Dillard's is the gala look. I believe this dress is from Lucy Paris. All of these items are gonna be linked below, but it's this beautiful hot pink, and I'm seeing a lot of, so if you're not a red person, I'm a red and hot pink person, but if you're not a red person, hot pink is everywhere this holiday season. So this beautiful kind of chiffon, Georgette kind of material dress. It's really, really comfortable. It does have straps, so it stays up, but of course you're gonna wear strapless bra with this, but beautiful, comfy, floaty dress that you don't have to suck anything in. You can just dance the night away in this dress and it is so much fun. I'm pairing it with my Shein mules, but of course you could do a neutral shoe or a met metallic um, is the most neutral shoe, especially this time of year. And I think that would be great with this dress. So love this dress from Lucy Paris. It's perfect for a holiday party or gala, something a little bit more formal. Okay, let's look at the next one. Now, New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve follows Christmas, right? And to me, this is the perfect New Year's Eve dress from Johnny Beanie. It's fringed. It's kind of like a, a, an updated take on a flapper dress. The fringe is so much fun and it moves and it is, it just, to me, it just says it's a party in a dress. It's the perfect party dress. Plus, the fringe is very forgiving and you don't see any lumps and bumps underneath it. So it's very friendly for a variety of body types. I think it's really flattering, really, really pretty. Of course, I'm wearing it with my Sarah, uh, Sarah Flint Perfect Pumps in the 100 heel height. And so those are going to be linked as well. But just absolutely love this Johnny Beanie party dress for New Year's Eve. Okay. A Christmas gala, Christmas cocktails, Christmas fancy night out. This dress from Skies Are Blue checks all the boxes for me. So I have a hard time, like I said, with sequins because they catch on my hair, but this dress is um, like a metallic lame material and it's ruched, which makes it super flattering. And then it's got this fun skirt. It's very, very comfortable and easy to pull on. And it's, again, it's kind of like a one and done piece. The thing about a party dress like this is you put it on and you don't need to add much. Add a great pair of earrings and a pair of pumps and you're ready, right? So I think this is just a fun party dress. It's not too short. I'm 5'2". Keep in mind, it'll be shorter on you if you're taller. I love the ruching because it's forgiving. It's stretchy. It's comfortable. Checks all the boxes. So I love Love that dress for Christmas cocktails. Okay, what if you have an office party? So I found this, um, it's, it's a boucle material, but with, with like lurex or shiny threads going through it. So it's kind of a sparkly suit. It's perfect for an office party when you need to look conservative and office friendly, off, like professional, but you also want to be Christmas spirity, right? So beautiful jacket and pants in this gorgeous tweed, like I said, metallic tweed. And then I added this dark green velvet bustier top underneath it. Now you could swap out your top if you're going straight to the office party after work and maybe do a silk blouse during the day and then do the bustier afterwards for the party. Um, depends on your workplace. But if you need to be formal and professional in your workplace, but you also want to be you know, holiday ready for an after work party. I think this is so, so perfect and a really, really flattering look. So I love it. You can also take off the jacket for the evening and then you've got this, just that beautiful bustier top and those beautiful wide leg pants with the metallic threads going through them. 
Okay, church. So obviously that is the, the, the main event for Christmas. Um, for those of you who celebrate like I do, you know, it, it's, it's all about um, the reason we celebrate the season and we want to go to church and look the part looked like we're excited about Christmas. Um, and so I love this look from Antonio Milani. I wish it was colder here and I could wear more coats like this, but it is so classic Christmas. So it's a dark green velvet midi dress, very, very comfortable. It has a little bit of a puff sleeve detail and it's just beautiful. It's classic, but also modern. The color is beautiful. It's very, very comfortable and very flattering. I think this would be forgiving and flattering on a wide variety of body types. And then this is the Nicola Bathy for, for Antonio Milani collection. And then there's this gorgeous plaid coat. Green, dark green and navy plaid coat. It's just stunning. It's got the fur, faux fur trim and it's just, to me, the quintessential classic church Christmas look. I absolutely love it. If you have a, a family Christmas celebration where you dress up like we do, this would be perfect for that. You're going to be comfortable and timeless and elegant and just perfectly suited for any of those more classic Christmas events. Um, I think that is it. Let me see if I have any other outfits for you. I want to know which of these outfits was your absolute favorite. Oh, I have one more. Sorry. This is the hostessing at home outfit. Now you want, like I always picture that I'm going to be like a 1960s, like hostess where they wore the silk pajamas and they were glamorously entertaining at home. This is the modern version of that. This is also from Skies Are Blue. These pants feel like sweatpants. They are uh, velvet pants with, a, with an elastic waist. And then it's got this velvet cami. You could throw a blazer over the top or a little jacket over the top, or you could just keep it the way it is. This would be perfect if you're having people over and you're going to be running around doing a bunch of stuff, but you still want to be really, really comfortable. It feels like pajamas, but it looks festive. So it's red velvet um, in this stretchy, comfortable material that um, is going to enable you to do all the things if you're hosting and still look really stylish and really like you're embracing the holiday spirit. Now, I did throw on a little blazer with rhinestone like crystal buttons on it that I think was really, really Really pretty but again you can wear it with or without depending on your climate but this is a great kind of hosting something at home look so I hope that you enjoyed seeing the different outfits from Dillard, seeing my different outfit formulas where you can plug in the items that you actually have in your own wardrobe and maybe just round it out with a couple of the accessories or a couple of the more special dresses or pieces that I've shown here. As always, everything is linked in the description box. I have a catalog with all of my holiday favorite um, clothing finds and I have um, picks uh, for the outfit formulas in the blog post so that you can kind of see how to break them down and recreate those outfits with items you have in your own wardrobe. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like um, get, and comment below. Let me know which of these outfits was your favorite. What kind of events do you go to for the holidays? Do you dress up? Do you, do you dress more casual? Like which of these outfit formulas can you see yourself recreating with items in your own wardrobe? And then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. This is the happiest place to be on YouTube and we would love to have you.